What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brain coming back at you guys with another video and today as you guys can see we're gonna be case swapping my computer. So you guys may be asking why are you case swapping and you just bought this case two weeks ago? Well make sure we are reading the full description on things here like the cases and your parts. I did not do this, and as you guys can see, the RGB on this case has not worked on the outside or on the fans. The reason for this is it is only compatible with MSI and ASUS motherboards. As you guys know, or if you guys didn't know, I bought an ASRock motherboard, the B550 Phantom Gaming motherboard to be exact, but this is not compatible, so I did have to move to another case. I will be showing you guys this full process. I am first going to set up this case and move this over. And then we will take out the parts from this computer currently and put them all in here. So let's get straight to this video. Just wanted to show you guys a couple things before getting into the case. I just wanted to show you around the case. First, starting off with the top here, we do have three USB ports, two of them USB 3 and one Gen 2. Cut an audio jack and the LED light and turn on and off button right up here. You have top ventilation. You also have nothing on the back. Back ventilation also pretty good. And of course, the front of the case looking very nice and slick. Something a little different than the last case, the power supply is actually back at the bottom so that I can put things on top, which is gonna be a little bit nicer so that I can put little action figures and things in the computer. I know it builds up a little bit of dust, but we are gonna try to make the computer look as nice as possible. So let's get into this. All right, guys, this is the Rosewill Spectra D100. It is a ATX mid tower and has a tempered glass side panel. A couple other things to mention about it. It has two USB 3.0s and one 2.0. Also coming with pre-installed RGB LED ring light fans four of those you also can support up to six fans it also supports up to 350 millimeter long VGA card cards supporting up to 170 millimeter high CPU coolers and also supporting up to 360 millimeter long liquid cooling radiator in the front and 240 millimeter long liquid cooling radiator radiator on the top this case also comes with a couple extra things in the case, of course the manual, some zip ties, a block to put your graphics card mounted up, extra side panels, and finally of course the screws. Now for my final overview of the Rosewell Prism S500 case. Honestly it's really not a bad case, it was pretty honestly a good case. Only thing that's a little different is that the power supply is at the top. And other than that, you needing the MSI and ASUS motherboard, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But if I wouldn't have needed an ASUS or, or if I would have had an ASUS or MSI motherboard, this probably would have, I would have kept this. But sadly, I didn't. And not too much to complain about besides the cable management in the back, because honestly, I think all these cases just have really bad cable management. All right, y'all, we have finally now stripped this computer. Everything is stripped out besides, pushing it farther back in the rear OI shield. It's the only thing I need from this right now. And I'm gonna put the front case and back case, or back of the case on, and we will move to putting the parts into here. We are finally finished. Moving over to the motherboard, this is a B550 Phantom Gaming 4 from ASRock. The CPU is a Ryzen 5 3500 6-core processor. On top of that, cooling it is the Vetro V5 150-watt fan. The NVMe SSD is a 256GB storage. Other storage devices are the 2TB Seagate hard drive, also a 1TB SSD from SP. Next being the RAM, I have the Corsair Vengeance 16GB 3200MHz 
The power supply is from Thermaltake and it is the 750 watt gold. Finally, the 4 gigabyte 1650 super. If you guys do want to see a better breakdown of the build, you guys can watch last week's video. I will also leave it in the top right corner right now. You guys can always look also in the description below. I usually leave all the links for the parts there also. Alright, the final and last thing I want to say before you guys see the end of this is Rosewell, make your cases have better cable management, please. I understand it's cheap, but it's very hard, and I feel like I'm going to start a fire hazard. Alright, y'all. I think everything is finished now for the moment of truth. I am nervous. All right, guys, we are back, finally. The beautiful thing is put together. The moment of truth now is to turn this on and see if it works. Everything is working. Everything's working so far. I got some nice RG, oh my God. Let's go, guys. We're real happy for this. Okay, turn the monitor on, might help. Monitor isn't plugged in. Is it working? Is it working? It's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. It's working, it's working, it's working. Do the happy dance. All right, guys, we are gonna put the front of the case back on. We're gonna get some B-roll and we're gonna outro this video. To a listen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like on it and if you guys did not enjoy make sure to hit the dislike button to let me know the feedback of the video i like to know if you guys did like it or did not like it if you guys have any video ideas maybe testing new things with the 1650 super things with the computer an in-depth breakdown of all my parts a little bit more things like that i can always do that if you guys just let me know in the comments like i said but that will be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you